the arbalest will strive to cleanse the manor and surroundings of all manner of evil and at death's door or at their wit's end the arbalest will have to uproot evil itself from the darkest dungeon all right i know that intro was pretty cheesy but yeah today we're painting the arbalest from mythic games's darkest dungeon wow that was hard to say anyways uh we're doing a zenithal highlight on top of this miniature and we're using some metallics as well on some of the, on this miniature and i don't think i've shown what metallics can do on a zenithal highlight so we're going to see i think maybe one color anyways in the army painter speed paint range anyways if you like the video hit that like button if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button now let's get to the table and start painting First off, again, I want to thank Bootsick FDB for sponsoring this channel and giving me a small discount to be able to buy some of my products from them, or most of my products from them, anyways. Anyways, go check them out, BootsickFDB.com. We started off with a little bit of Cypress Brown for the skin. That was an air paint uh, because I found her skin was a little more of a dark chocolate color, and I couldn't find something that I liked like that. And the Cypress Brown from the Air Range was the best. Plus, it's a little bit more uh, watered down, a little bit thinned out, so it works really well on top of the Zenithal highlight. Uh, Camo Cloak was our second paint there to do her uh, pants and the next one is True Copper and so I was saying about metallics that I was doing something like that on top of the Zenithal. Now I used an air metallic because again it is thinned down and I wanted to see if that did any kind of effect on top of Zenithal. As you can see there wasn't much Zenithal in that area because that's where I made the light shine and that's where I did my white airbrushing from that specific area and uh, so there wasn't too much zenithal on that the one we're going to see later on is the one that's pretty much all her armor and that's going to come in um, and show you the zenithal on that but i find even then it wasn't all that great with that kind of coverage so anyways but the rest of speed paints do a great job on top of zenithal I like this uh, aged hide here that i'm using for her big crossbow and i do have to mention this is one of the only well, so far I've seen where the miniature actually matches the artwork. The Crusader, instead of holding a torch, was holding a scroll. Uh, the Vestal was holding a dagger, I think. Or anyways, a whole bunch of different things. Uh, the artwork is not represented in the miniature at all. It's kind of funny, actually, because usually they look closely like their, you know, their counterpart miniature, but anyways uh so we're using some hardened leather here and we're gonna be putting this on pretty much all the straps and all sorts of belts and the uh the uh, carrier for like that bag the pouch she has her little boots here uh again darkest dungeon is not one of the top uh, voted on miniatures so that's why i decided to paint it anyways and show you guys this in the meantime of having other miniatures pop up for the voting which is now live on my community tab on my channel you can go take a look at that you can vote for the miniature you want painted on the channel the other ones will eventually get painted because eventually they'll get voted on but i just want to have a fresh new batch of miniatures for you guys to vote on and i hope you guys enjoy voting on them i hope that makes you happy when you see the video come up and you say hey i voted for that one or does it make you too sad that you don't see the other one right away but eventually like this one and like marco who are like the least voted on miniatures in the last few a few weeks maybe even a month this is why also the video quality is a bit different in this one this is my older camera uh, the intro, for some reason, uh, the camera wasn't grabbing it in full HD. I don't know what was going on there. Couldn't figure it out, so it might be a little bit uh, grainy. Sorry about that, but I am recording in 4K, like I'm making the output come in 4K or in high definition, so hopefully that will make a difference. We're almost done painting this miniature, and right now I'm using that broadsword silver uh, to finish up all the armor on this miniature and again like I was saying it's amazing coverage the metallics don't get me wrong they have amazing coverage but they don't always give you what you want this one was one of my favorite ones uh, for metallic speed paints for it being thinned down and doing the job but in the zenithal area I'm not sure if it you know if it really did keep the dark areas darker and that I find it just oh, just like uh what is it just paint right over it anyways and then there you go arbalist from darkest dungeon is painted and ready to take on the monsters of the darkest dungeon anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video even though you didn't vote on it much hit that like button if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button i want to thank you guys for watching now go get painting and we'll see you all in the next one